Hi, this is Gabriel McCray, financial advisor with My Plus Financial, and I am your My Fly Millionaire. I wanted to talk to those of you that are struggling with savings. I understand how difficult it is. Most of your savings, though, believe it or not, the root of the problem is at your spending. And I remember when I was trying to uh, save money and what happens is that you're coming from a place where obviously you lack a lot of money, scarcity, scarcity is an issue. And so what happens is that you have to number one, guard against the want factor. We don't buy what we need, we buy what we want. We may need it, but we have to want it before we buy it. So when you see something um, that you want, you have to quickly clamp down on that. You got to get in control because once that uh, wants become deep seated in your um, feelings to spend, you're going to buy it. It's, 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 it's game over. OK, so when I was trying to save money, uh, especially, you know, getting up to my first thousand, uh, then it was just I just didn't have enough money to pay for something. But after you get over your first thousand, let's say you're trying to make it. Uh, to your first 5,000, because your first hurdle is getting to a 1,000. That's hard as heck, okay? Um, but then going on up to your first 5,000, what happens is that maybe you got 1,500, maybe you got 2,700, maybe you got 3,200, but basically you got enough money so you can spend without going back down to zero. Um, so that's why at your first 1,000, it's always tough because you are trying to... Uh, pay off a bill or something and so you want that little bit of money that you put aside to help you with that bill but after that now you got enough money where you can purchase something and remember what I said about want this is when that kicks in so strong you're almost like an addict or a junkie you need an intervention practically what happens is that uh, there is something that you want okay that you've been thinking about maybe something you see but basically it's something that's starting to take creep take hold of that want factor and now you got enough money to really get something nice okay something that had been kind of out of your reach before uh, uh, and I'm not gonna give any examples because that might throw you off but there's something that costs you know a few thousand dollars and now you're thinking about it. you're like you know what finally now I got enough money put aside I can get that but that is the devil's trap okay because once you do that then of course you're gonna knock all your savings back down below, probably below a thousand dollars and you're back into that trap. So you wanna to try to keep saving and saving until you at least get up into the double digits. So first break 1,000, then your next barrier should be to get up to 5,000 and from 5,000 you wanna to go to 10,000, okay? So hopefully that helps with those who are struggling to save and wondering why it's so hard and wondering why you keep uh, sliding backwards. When it comes to your spending, the key is to, again, get a hold, take control, and dominate. Understand, dominate that want factor. That is what is going to help you when it's uh, a matter of you turning your finances around or staying perpetu perpetually trapped in poverty, okay? or a poor mindset, all right? Because it all starts with the mind. Yeah, you wanna put it on money, you don't have enough money, but again, it comes down to your spending and your spending comes down to how bad you want it and all that comes from where? Your head, okay? Uh, almost feel like it's coming from your heart, it gets so bad. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're starting to put something aside because that is, is your opportunity cost. That's your opportunity money. That's money that's gonna allow you to go to the next level. That's money that's gonna raise you up from where you are right now to where you wanna be. You need to get some money put aside so that when it comes to having access to capital, which is the number one thing that most of us um, fear uh, and think holds us back, is you're like, you know what? I can never get ahead because I don't have any money or I don't have enough money or I have too little money. It's really the fact that you have not leveraged time to start putting up a little bit of money so it can grow into a lot of money, okay? And as a result of that, you see a bargain, 
you see a buy, you see an investment, you see an opportunity, and it just deflates you. It just takes all the wind out of your sail. And it takes the wind out of your sail because again, you feel that, you know what? Everything is against me. I can't get ahead. The truth of the matter is, you have everything you need to have. You know everything you need to know. You're just not doing everything that you should be doing with what you have, okay? So in order to be your best self, you also have to align that with your best actions, with your best decisions, all right? So go hard, be strong, okay? Start to focus on what it is that's really, really important to you in your life. Your finances is just a means to get you there. I work with you and talk with you about your finances, but it's never about the money, all right? You, it's what you want to do with the money. It's how you want to live your life. It's who you want to become. It's what you want to be. It's what you want to buy and purchase without it being your last dime, okay? So fight back. Be strong. Go hard in your wallet, all right? Like I said, that's the key. It's that want factor. We don't buy what we need. Forget about that. That's what you've heard. It's what you want. It's what you need. No, it's 100% what you want because you can need it. But if you don't want it, you won't buy it. You'll buy something else you want. Okay. And you'll put that other thing off or you'll pay a little bit on it. And um, uh, while there's always exceptions, you understand the concept that I'm telling you about. Okay. So remember, you can do it. You can build wealth. You can improve your finances. You can get to financial independence. You just got to remember that it's you, all right? It's you. It's not all these external factors. It's how you are handling the external factors. It's what you're doing. It's what you're saying. It's the places you're going. It's how you're thinking. It's how you're educating yourself. It's how you're feeding your mind. It's what's taking up your time. All of those things are within your control. Get on top of them, make a difference. Make a difference in your life and make a difference to those that are important to you and make a difference in the way you live. All right, hopefully that, hopefully that helps.